at Sao Paulo, Africa, Middle East, and Asia, over in Egypt at the moment-ish, sometime this week. <clears throat> Excuse me, 2.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, that's 3 a.m. <laughs> 12-13-2019, Bitcoin at 7255, ETH at 144, XRP at 21, almost 22, um, down a little bit in the last uh, 24, but not much. Um, basically, right as I said, I just jumped a little bit, but when you go down this little, little bit to 0.71, it's not making much of a difference in the price. So, of course, when you go up that much, that may make much difference in the price. Um, this is anemic, the market, 194 billion. Still pretty impressive for billions, but anemic for having profit increases. Um, 15 billion for the daily, and that is 10 billion less than where you want to be for any type of growth going on. But Bitcoin is up a little bit, 1.35% up. <clears throat> All the headlines you see about Bitcoin diving to zero or to 5,000 or whatever. You get 10 billion plus, 8 billion plus in volume. You're getting basically a good amount of stability. And that's what I think you're going to see is that it's going to hang around the 7, 68 to 73, somewhere in that range for a while. This is the holiday season. You're basically looking at go out and enjoy your life. Let the market do what it's doing. Just enjoy your life because this time now, you're not going to see a bull run into Christmas time. No. <laughs> now, I wish it would happen, but no. Tron is super F A F U. Um, his Weibo account. Regarding this type of thing going on in China, China regulations are causing havoc with a lot of different exchanges and different social accounts so what you have to keep in mind is that when you're dealing with exchanges I put that exchange list up yesterday thanks to Ken B um, with basically all those different issues with the exchanges when you have these restrict are these basically yeah, you could call them restrictions when you have the stuff going on in eat and basically in China that is causing such a how can I put it scary thing for the people in China regarding their businesses. Get your coins if they're on the Chinese exchange, get them off. Get them off any exchange, put them in your wallet, unless you're doing the exchange right then and there. And whenever you do exchanges, make sure you do it and get it out. Because basically DEX, Apollo's DEX, safe, okay? It's in your wallet. Coming to be fully complete um, in the next few weeks. And that one there is going to have Bitcoin added to it and a bunch more. But anyway, atomic swaps and stuff like that. It's cooking in it right now with Ethereum and Paxos. But you got to keep in mind this. When you look at the things that are happening, the safeness of what's out there for exchanges is getting worse. It's not getting better. IDAX, still no word on IDAX. Just just check before I came. No word. I mean, right now, that's a 2080 at the moment for IDAX. It's gone downhill massively for any type of thing coming out where the emergency plan is coming. Um, they said that, but then nothing in two weeks. So unfortunately, my brother's out of many coins, and many of you guys are out at the moment. Hopefully, there's a Christmas present from IDAX. Hopefully. Millionaire philanthropist Bill Pult says he is expanding his crypto portfolio. In a new tweet, Pult says he recently bought 11 Bitcoin worth 80000 at the current market prices. Plus, he's been giving away money. Darling Jay, you all just received 1000 from Team Pult for December 1st giveaway. Happy birthday to me. All right, cool news there. Now, Chopin founder, Chopin, Pleads guilty. Orchestrated the 42 million ICO fraud. And Iran Yal has been pleaded guilty. And let's see, I'm trying to see if he's, when his sentencing date is. I don't see it there. But we'll keep an eye on it. So you got that. Along with cryptocurrencies have been better returns. 
the best reporting uh, or performing asset class of the year. Yes, sure, we're in a bull market right now. A bull, the bear. Uh, we're in a bear market right now. But with Bitcoin's growth this year, um, and then you look at what happened in that push that there was a bit as it went up. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's definitely when you're looking at the other asset classes, not doing as good. Will 2020 be much better? Yes, in my opinion. Scientists want to clean up space junk with a self-destructing robot. I love robots. I don't like robots with AI that are my size. No, I don't. Um, but I do like robots. And I think uh, something like this, the space junk is a great idea. This is a tech channel, don't forget. So we'll get crypto and we'll get a little bit of tech. Then you've got mainstream investment vehicles. Now, this article, I would like to list this down below. When you talk about what's going on with Grayscale and a bunch of other ones that are out there um, and taking care of business, doing custodies, and you've got basically a lot of different ones that are doing really good um, and taking care of business. And it's something of a good read, really, when you think about it. Because when you have the custody situation, you're not really worried about where they are. But I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> Again, keep your coins in your wallet. There's another article coming up shortly about privacy. And I blatantly should just put in you know, on that article, comment Apollo, because of the privacy with the coin shuffling and the IP masking. And this is like archaic. This article doesn't even talk about Apollo. And they're wondering about what can be done for privacy, especially on the Ethereum and Bitcoin networks. Forget them. For their proof of work, proof of stake Apollo has been much more advanced. And guess what? Going to DAG consensus protocol, leaving these guys in the dust. Ding dong. Russia's largest darknet marketplace. I'm not a big fan of darknets. And I'll tell you this, having an ICO for a multi-million dollar darknet, Hydra, I don't know if I'd invest. That's just my two cents. I really don't think I would. The ECB president, everybody likes this lady, most everybody likes this lady, Christine Lagarde. Um, basically talking about the digital currency and having a stable coin and what's going on with the blockchain. Um, she should be the leader of blockchain and cryptocurrency around the world um, because she really is, how can I put it, educated. Best way to put that. Did I get you dizzy with the up and down? Okay, the privacy and concept of cryptocurrencies and their limits. All kinds of, no, no, that's not all kinds. Looks like them, though. Um, of gains. The, <laughs> when you look at the privacy, quest for privacy continues. Touch screen. Can you see me punching on that screen right there? You probably can't. Um, but you, again, coin shuffling and having the IP masking, Apollo has it. And that is the bomb. Apollo with their all-in-one and their platform, which is immense. This website is changing with a rebranding shortly um, to Apollo FinTech is a rebranding. Financial services along with all-in-one features. As you can see right here, coin shuffling, IP masking, encrypted data transport, encrypted messaging, alias system, coin mixing, private ledger. Then you've got more voting, decentralized file storage, decentralized marketplace. Spend your Apollos, have them delivered to your door. Okay, file storage. This is cool right now, small files, but good for like any place like doctor's offices and stuff like that. But this is changing. Going to the Apollo cloud in 2020. Um, with mega storage and then asset system, monetary system, advanced con account control, multi-signature and phase transactions, decentralized exchange, smart contracts, governments using this. Lesotho, or however you pronounce it with a slight little change in that pronunciation, um, basically has signed the MOU with Apollo. And with the MOU with Apollo, that gets the juices flowing. Here's a thing from the seven coins to watch in 2020.
Oh. is an all-in-one digital currency which combines the features of mainstream cryptocurrencies into one platform. Apollo has made history by becoming the first project to utilize sharding on an active blockchain. In 2020, the foundation will focus on achieving true mass adoption via its national currency initiative. The initial target is the continent of Africa, where the foundation has partnered with ADF Group to pitch to all 54 nations nations on the continent of 1.2 billion people. This is big. The foundation is also developing tools for mass adoption, including a light wallet app. The mobile app will have a QR code as well as merchant features. This will help Apollo to gain merchant adoption globally. Apollo's aims are pretty ambitious to say the least. It aims to become the all-in-one crypto for all use cases. If it manages to achieve these goals, it could be on its way way to become one of the top cryptocurrencies in the future. Definitely want to keep your eye on. Computer generated voices with emotion. I love it. I got to get one of those and do my videos with a computer generated voice. It sounds really cool and has some motion. Oh, speaking of sound and stuff. <laughs> Sub second speed coming soon. Crypto World on Twitter put a video up. Um, in my opinion, this is Egypt. They found the Apollo corn. Yep. They dug it out of the sand and there she be. And that's the one that's going to take them out of their hyperinflation and their fraud in government and give them goodness. Yeah. <laughs> George is a new hire for Apollo. He's based out of Dubai and he works for Huawei as a CTO. He is a new advisor for Apollo on blockchain security. Awesome. Great speaker. Exciting. Let's get him out there. Chop, chop. Um, you've got a lot of great videos. Oh, I didn't. Oh, shoot. I wanted to mention um, and I'll post it on my next video. I had it up, and somehow it's not there. Okay, the all-in-one right there while you're doing that. Look at that, okay? But let me speak to you about something real fast as you look at that domination from Apollo. Um, I have a link that I am going to put up in my next video. It's supposed to be in this one, but I glitched. Um, and it's the Google Cloud link for all the videos that we produced. 100 so far in the last 14, 15 days. There's going to be more added to that uh, Google Drive folder as days go by. You can click on that link and then have access to all those videos. You can easily download them and use them um, on any social network that you want to use. So that will be in the next video. The link will be there. It's also, it has been posted on Twitter. So if you take a look on the Apollo Core tweet, you'll see that the link is out there. Okay, domination. Um, and then rapid speed, one to two seconds, going to sub-second soon. The best privacy with all that domination. And how can I put it? A public option. This Middle East twist, along with what they're doing in Africa for the Lesotho MOU, all the different things. you got to understand that this is the Christmas season going into New Year's. So let the holiday spirit flow. Let the devs and everybody do what they're doing in the background.
like I said, all these videos are on that drive link. Well, I mean, you can use them where you want to. There's so much going on for Apollo regarding CEX, DEX, DAG Consensus Protocol, Apollo Cloud, ArcNet, DApps, Smart Contracts. <clears throat> what they're doing with the Apollo Africa and with the Egypt Twist, Middle East countries in Asia. You basically have to look at the next few months of being so much of a big development for Apollo. And it's a ground floor opportunity of 0 .007 um, and 6-ish. Something where you at the low prices right now, you got to understand the products, everything that is building. Um, you just got to just understand. It's a very good possibility that Apollo is going to take care of business. And that hiring with George is going to be something that's going to attribute to the greatest opportunity of our lifetime. I really do think so. The time has come for me to end this video and understand that Apollo is going to take care of business in 2020. Ding dong. Okay, everybody, have a great one. And one more time going out with a great video, which is this one. See ya.